Previously on Yu-Gi-Oh! We'll make number 101 Silent Arnark for all my boomers! I remember back when this card was the hot shiznitch. All right, guys, we're going to be hopping on in into another Master Duel game. This is going to be a diamond rated high tier matchup. Oh my God, we got so many. We're going to be seeing sharks, guys. Sharks with no totally awesome. So this is post the forbidden list. It is going to be crazy. I can't wait to show you how powerful this deck is without totally awesome. Or we'll see it because it's diamond rated. In this particular turn, Snape Shatch draws Abyss Shark, Crystal Shark, White Mirror, Ice Barrier, and XYZ Exceed Revive Splash. His opponent is going to be going first, activating Mass Mech Circular. So we're going against one of the best decks in the entire game. We activate Mass Mech Circular to be able to summon our Mass Mech Sigma, getting our Super Fractorial. And then we go ahead and Exceed Summon with our Super Fractorial, or... <laughs> <laughs> our two math mech monsters to make primary liberation to be able to add math mech induction huh interesting induction i'm curious well then normal summon our diameter to be able to special summon circular and now we'll link off our diameter right into our link disciple circular will then make link devotee i see a lot of players going into this particular combo line i think it's pretty interesting we summon Link Devotee, which will then be tributed off, and then our Prime Alan Bershaw will activate. Bringing out our Circular, Devotee will summon two tokens. So, we can essentially turn one monster into three monsters, because Alan Bershaw tributes off the Devotee, then we get two tokens here. We'll then link off the Circular and the Link Disciple. We're going to make our Cyber Wicket, probably an IP Masquerina right under it too, which is really, really strong. We will make the IV Masquerina right under it, which will trigger the effect of our Cybers Wicket. It'll banish the Link Disciple, Devotee, whatever, to draw to add the diameter. We'll set two and pass. So our inboard is looking pretty good right here. We have a Math Mech Induction, which allows us to be able to target a card our opponent controls and destroy it by sending it to the graveyard. We also have IP Masquerina, which can link into a three negation Opelousable of the Goddess, or it can go into a Crusadia Mech Knight Aphromax, which is can't be destroyed, can't be targeted. Then we also have a card that allows us to be able to summon an XE monster that can send a card, two cards from our field and one card from our hand to the graveyard. So we're, we're, we're built different. He's going to go ahead and use Induction to give all of his monsters attack, so they're kind of chunky. Setting cards face down, we're going to go ahead and go right into Super Fractorial, allowing us to summon three. And then we'll exceed summon. We're going to go ahead and make Laplacian under the Cyber's Wicked, guys. This is ridiculous. We're going to get some really, really good effects. This is... Oh, my God. So, the effect of Wicked will allow us to banish Link Disciple to add. And Laplacian will be able to detach to send cards to the graveyard. And it has a negation on it. Laplacian will get rid of our Crystal Shark. Oh, no. Oh, no. When bad goes terrible... I think, first of all, our opposing player's biggest problem was that he didn't do this in the end phase. I have a strong feeling that Shapes and Actress is just going to go straight to end phase, right? If he was going to summon Crystal Shark, right? If this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can target one water monster on the field. So, can't use either of those, right? So, if he would have did this in the end phase, yeah, he would have probably been able to get Ice Barrier's effect. I think it banishes the search. But... He wouldn't have been able to do anything because he would have been in his end phase. This is a huge mistake. And Diamond won, guys. We're going to get our Math Mechanabula to our hand. And then use IP. We're probably going to go into Apo here, no? Maybe make up for it. We'll chain Ice Barrier in the graveyard as a response to our IP. Sending the Gamseal. To be able to add the Gamseal. Holy shit. And now, instead of going for all of them, he's going to change his mind, guys. He's going to go straight into a Nightmare Unicorn. Fortunately enough, the Unicorn will be able to give him advantage. He'll get rid of the Cyanet Mining to get rid of our back row. And we'll give him a nice, healthy Kaiju. Now, since there's a Water Monster finally on the field, we'll go ahead and summon Crystal Shark, which allows us to summon Abyss Shark. 
then add a buzzsaw shark we have not committed our normal summon guys and because of our opponent's slight mistake it gets us right back in the game which is so crazy about how diamond one could be we'll normal summon buzzsaw shark buzzsaw shark targeting crystal shark to be able to summon gazer shark what is this you can banish this card from your graveyard target two level five water monsters in your graveyard special summon it but their effects are negated and immediately exceed summon one water monster whoa okay now keep in mind crystal shark can be used as a five or a four so we're gonna make stealth crag in here turning everything to water oh no shay we fumbled the bag ah big fumble <laughs> Stealth Dragon can destroy any monster on the field. But since our opponent used IP Masquerada to make the Nightmare Unicorn, it can't be destroyed by current effects. He could have picked anything. He could have picked the Wicked. He could have picked the Gamseal. He could have picked anything. It would have been way better. We'll activate Nash Knight here. Attaching. Oh, hold on. What does that do? Cannot be destroyed by battle with a number monster. You can detach two materials, attach one number XC monster from your extra deck to his material between 101 and 1 and 7, then attach one other face-up monster on the field to it as material. Pretty good. We'll then use it for an XC summon. Oh, God. It has 101 as material. We're going to make Chaos Exceed Nash Knight. This card also can... You can also XC summon this card by using Nash Knight. Cannot be destroyed by card effects. You can detach one material from this card, spell something from your extra deck, one number XC monster that has a number between 101 and 1 and 7 in its name by using this card as face-up material, but destroy it during your opponent's next end phase, and then it's treated as an XC summon. You can only use the effect once per turn. Okay. We'll activate our Nash Knight to XC summon again. Oh, no. We're going to make Silent Honor dark oh my god chat just let me know that wicked can't be destroyed but i mean we could have destroyed the gam seal right silent honor arc once per turn you can target one special summon monster your opponent controls attached it to it as material then when it's destroyed and sent to the graveyard you can special summon this card from your graveyard then gain life points equal to its original attack number silent arc must be on the graveyard to activate and resolve this effect and then if it's special summon it cannot attack for the rest of the turn if it's summoned that way so wow we have a ridiculously good card we'll attach the unicorn as material go into our battle phase i don't think are we locked in the waters because it's gonna be a chunky zeus oh uh, we might be locked in the waters we'll sect xc revive splash phase down and our inboard is a silent honor arc and a stealth dragon and we got to break the board so we're in a really good spot our opponent's gonna go ahead and draw here he's gonna activate his sigma he can come back into this game very much so Induction to destroy the phase down card. This man's working. Some traction to target the stealth crag and the summon. Oh my god, yo, he's making moves here. We know he has the tuner and he has not invested his normal summon. So we go prime Alan Bershin. Alan Bershin detach two to add a mathematic card, which is gonna be another addition. Wait. We use attraction. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Then we use XC Revive Splash. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Uh target one water XC monster you control. Spell something from your extra deck, one water XC monster that is one rank higher. Huh? We tile in our silent honor dark. We're going to XC summon it into. What the fuck? Why is every deck not DDDs playing DDD cards? <laughs> High Wave King Caesar says when a spell or trap or monster effect activates that includes special summoning a monster, you can detach one material, negate the activation to destroy the card. So it's a free negation. It stops a lot of the effects that we want to do, and we still have the stealth crag and destruction. This is crazy. Our opponent's gonna go ahead and use equation. We're gonna detach to prevent that. We can summon the diameter, but he's he still has Stealth Kragen. We activate addition. My guys, this is not once per turn. 
Oh my fucking god, this is not once per turn! Homie got three materials left after negating two! Alan Bergen activates. We're just gonna wave dash it off the field. <laughs> oh my god. My god. Yo, that was that was saucy. That was saucy. That was one of the best games I've seen for Sharks ever. That was an incredible game. And if guys, if you want to see more amazing games, go ahead and check out these replays. So I'll catch you on the next one.